Center, who you may have seen on Fox News, Fox Business Network, RT America, Cheddar TV, and CBS News. She's an expert stock market analyst and the founder and owner of an international education company where she teaches people how to successfully trade the stock market. Her trading methodology is based on one strategy called Golden Gaps, which pinpoint institutional money in the stock market. Here to present Make Fast Profits Trading 30 Minutes a Day is Ms. Melissa Armo of The Stock Swoosh. Welcome back to Trader's Corner, Melissa. Hi, can you hear me? Um, you're a little faint. Let me move the mic closer. Can you hear me now? Much better. <laughs> Great. Thanks so much for having me, Rob. Thanks so much for having me on today. Welcome, everyone. Very interesting day today in the market. Lots of earnings right now. It's currently earnings season. I'm seeing everybody's chats. If you have questions, you can plop them in the room. And we're going to get started. So today I'm going to talk about how you can make fast profits trading 30 minutes a day. What we did today was we actually traded eBay and love they were two earnings trades they were shorts if you want to take a look at the charts you can look at them i didn't have time to plot them in today's presentation uh but they were both earnings gaps so for those of you that don't know what i do i do trade in my live trading room where i call trades every day i do day trades on margin i also do options and i'm taking options using momentum so the whole theme of today's lecture is going to be about <coughs> excuse me is going to be about trading momentum because that is how you can make money. And if you pull up, like I said, eBay, for example, is a great example today of momentum to the downside. This is me. If you have questions, you can email me at melissathestockswish.com. You can also call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. And as Rob said, I do appear on TV everywhere. I try to put when I'm on TV on my Twitter or Facebook, so you can follow me there. And then I put the clips on my YouTube channel as well. So if you've been trading for a while and you've been attempting to be successful, but you haven't quite got there yet, I'm here today to tell you don't give up. Never give up. If your dream is truly to be a successful trader, then you have to keep going, okay? Because you can be successful. Many times people are not successful because they don't have a good strategy. They, they may have other things that they do that they make mistakes. Maybe they get their sizing wrong or something like that. But overall, if you have more winners than losers, you will be successful. And how do you get that? You have to have a good strategy, okay? So I developed a strategy that I trade for myself, never to teach anyone, and then it ended up developing where I had a voice to talk on TV and YouTube, and then I started a business. But I spent three years putting my system together for myself. Um, and so, you know, the fact is that I've been teaching people now for 11 years as well, and you can be successful. So think about that, stay positive. If you've been trying to do this, never, never give up until you get to the point where you've made it. So how do you make money fast? Trading momentum. So if you'd like to learn how to trade momentum, you've come to the right place today. Also, I prefer to short, even though I am gonna talk about a couple of longs today that we did. But like I said, today we did eBay and Love, which were both nice shorts. One of the reasons I prefer to short is because short moves, moves to the downside happen faster than moves to the upside most of the time. I'd say 99% of the time. And again, shorting can be profitable and fun because of the fact that panic comes into the stock. So, for example, if you short 2,000 shares of a stock and it drops a dollar, you'd make what? $2,000. And that can happen sometimes in one minute, two minutes, five minutes. And that's it. Then you have the rest of the day to yourself and you can do whatever you want. And like I'm here talking to you right now, done for the day. And I'm talking to you and it's, you know, almost one o'clock here Eastern time. After this, I have the rest of the day to myself. So it is a nice career if you trade and you learn how to do it and you develop a way to go into the market or learn mine that you can make money as quickly as possible so that you can be done in 30 minutes. But time is money. And so the idea of trading is to make it as fast as you can, and you also want to get in and out of trades fast so they are not affected by things that could hurt your trades. For example, the market or economic data or something like where the Fed raises interest rates. That can hurt your trades. So if you're up in something, you get out of it before the data even reports. I'm going to show you the results here today. I didn't have the last week in here, but year-to-date, 
through what is July 18th, I'll update this and put a video on YouTube sometime in the next couple of days. For 2023, year to date, 349,794 are the stats this year. This so far, this has been a good year. We are mostly short, like I said. These are all day trades on margin. So again, how do you make it? How do you become successful trading? You have to be consistent. You have to have more wins than losses. And on top of that, you have to have some very large wins. The market can be a magical thing if you know what to do. And what do I mean by that? What do I mean by magical? It's, you're not really working. You're basically using your brain, okay? So it's almost like the smartest people are the ones that, that win, okay? So we always wanna develop our skill set. So my skill set is that I can predict price action in something before it happens. That is a skill set that I've developed over 15 years. And I see it in the gap. If you come and learn from me, you're gonna learn my skill set. But once you develop those skills, it's magical because you're really not going to work and slaving or toiling away for you know 40 hours a week or more at a job to make this kind of money. And it also sometimes is very, very magical because of the fact that you can make an astounding amount of money with very little risk very, very quickly. Do I get trades to the dream target every day? No. Do, they some, do I sometimes get trades to what I call the dream target? Yes. And every time that happens, I'm reminded why I love to do this, why trading is so fun. And then, of course, the people that are with me that are getting my calls recognize that, too. So I'm going to get over what has been a trade that we did last week. It was the biggest trade of the year so far. It doesn't mean that we won't have another trade like this this year, but we might. It was an options trade, and I'm going to go over here advanced risk, but I talk a little bit later about our beginner risk for this trade, too. We went long Microsoft. We did Microsoft calls at the very, very moment. I was happened to sit at my desk and I called on the options newsletter, Microsoft calls, and it went and it went big and it went fast. And we're talking today about making money fast and we're also talking about momentum. If you saw the news on Microsoft that hit last week on this particular day, it was about a week ago, um, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. It had earnings this week. Actually, it was the night of the 25th down on the 26th, and we actually shorted Microsoft here. But back in here on the 18th of July, we did a trade that so far was the biggest trade of the year because of the return on investment of the trade. For every single person that did it, it was a huge trade. It was minimal cost, and it went very big, very fast, and very quick, and we're going to go over it. So what happened here at Microsoft? This was a gap up, okay? So again, the date was July 18th. So we did the Microsoft 360 calls on the 18th that expired on the Friday. So I trade options, like I said. I'm trading options very different than a lot of people because I'm trading options based on momentum. What does that mean? It means I win or lose in the trades. I'm not worried about deltas or this thing or that thing or fancy dancy types of things to do. I see the momentum is going to come into the stock and I take it and I get in and I get out. So again, how fast it goes or how big it goes I have an idea, you know, I have my targets and see it. Sometimes things go bigger than we think. This did go. So the cost was 50 cents. Somebody on the newsletter actually actually paid 30 cents for this. It was ridiculous. So this is an advanced trader risk. This is a lot of risk, $9,000 for the contract position of total of 180 contracts. You could have bought more, you could have bought less. The point is you got a very low risk, low cost option that went huge. This was 1,700%. This wasn't even the high of the options chain with an exit. It almost got to 10. This was a trade that I helped people through. I sent like 10 emails on this from the time I sent the call up until the point that it ran up. This was a momentum trade, and I'm going to show you the one minute in a little bit. But the newsletter, if you want to trade options with me, I sent it out with the strike, the expiration date, the call. This went out right when I saw it, right when I saw the news, right when it hit. So let's take a look at this chart. Here it is. So this is it. It ran up. See ya? So this ran all the way up. <coughs> Excuse me. Dream target in this was 365, and it happened to go there within an hour. <laughs> so again, while that was not necessarily planned, 
As soon as it happened, I realized that it was going. If you had wished $1,000 on this trade, you would have made 17 grand. So this trade made everybody's week, made everybody's month. Okay, this was the biggest trade of the year. The only way you wouldn't have made that much money in this trade is if you didn't do it. And, and funny enough, there was a couple of people in the newsletter that missed it, you know, that, that they were in meetings or whatever because it was a late trade. Typically, I trade in the morning, but in this case here, I did do this trade when I saw it, which was, you know, closer to lunch. That's not always the case. This is an example, though, of momentum. It's also an example of what? It's an example of institutional buying, okay? Institutional money coming in and buying the stock. So while that doesn't happen all the time, okay, this can happen, and it can happen like that. And again, this is what I'm talking about, about the magic of trading. So while people should never blow up their accounts and risk all their money in a trade, I know that people are very often frustrated, particularly people that have smaller accounts. They get frustrated when they um, are not seeing the results that they want. You can't push it in the market. For example, if you have $5,000 in a trading account and an options account, you should be risking probably around $500 per trade. That would have made you money in this, still well over 1,000%. Sometimes what I see is people that have small accounts and they want to risk half their account because they have a small account. You can't do that. When you get the big ones is when you will have the opportunity to grow a small account and then with consistency, meaning having consistent wins and having more wins than losses, which again is a whole put point. This was an awesome call. This was an awesome trade. Uh, ironically, we did Microsoft as well this week too. We did it yesterday and we shorted it, uh, but this was an options trade. And again, I have an options newsletter, but the way that I trade options is the same way similar that I'm doing day trades is I'm trading momentum. The benefit of doing options is that you can open an options account that's only list $2,000 and you don't need a margin account to do options. And people want to get moves in stocks like NVIDIA, like Microsoft, um, you know, like, like the QQQs and not have to worry about taking the trades on margin where well, you can do them as options. So how can you make that much money that fast? Again, trading momentum and getting the timing right. Being able to predict what it was going to do, which I did, and then taking it, no hesitation, getting in and getting out. So I also put this in here. This is NVIDIA, and I'm, I'm just letting you know right now, we just did this today. So I called on the options newsletter, NVIDIA calls, the 470 calls. This trade is up. This trade is working. This is a nice call. Again, how do I take trades based on momentum in the gap? So what happened in NVIDIA? NVIDIA closed here yesterday, gapped up this morning, rallied, and is rallying, okay? So again, this is a long, this is a call similar to Microsoft. It is not going within an hour like Microsoft. Not every trade goes like that. But this is a nice, solid momentum trade in an option, okay, in NVIDIA. So here I'm giving you a free idea right now here today if you happen to be listening to me right now, okay? This is a good trade. So again, you know, for options for me, it's about the idea of being able to get capture and move overnight if I want to hold it to get a bigger move or just the low cost of doing an option versus doing a trade on margin. Something like for NVIDIA, for example, over $470 a share is expensive to do a margin. While I'll do it, it's a heck of a lot cheaper to do it as an options trade. So how do you get these kinds of results? How do I make these picks? I have a checklist. I have a system that I use to trade, and I go through and apply it each and every day. When before I take a trade, I go through the checklist. Most of the work I do in the pre-market in the morning, I will go through, I will see what is moving. I will look at the gap ups, I will look at the gap downs, and I will make a choice of what to do and what to trade. And I prefer to short just because of the speed of execution of moves to the downside. But like I showed you here today, NVIDIA is a good long, Microsoft was a good long, I will go long too, okay? But I qualify my picks using a checklist. I think it's important for people to get clear with their financial goals. If you are not meeting your financial goals trading, 
you may be wasting your time. You know, if you're back and forth for the first seven months of the year, we're almost at the end of July. Next week is August. On the Tuesday is August 1st. If you're not meeting your goals so far this year, it's a good time to just step back because you still have five more months left in the year that you can meet your goals, you can achieve your goals, you can get there, but you've got to change course. And if you're not on the right course to make the money that you want to make in the market, chances are whatever you're doing, whatever strategy you're using isn't working. And, and you have time to still pull out a year, okay? You can turn your year around in a week, in a month, okay? But it doesn't make any sense to continue trading a system that isn't working if you're losing. But if you're going to trade and be profitable, you need a system to pick the best trade daily that will capture the largest move. Just like I showed you with the Microsoft and today with the NVIDIA. You can't trade everything every day, even in the trend or even with the market. And look how tricky the market can be, too. You need a system that produces results in order to make money trading. You need a system that produces results in a volatile market, which I still think we're in, even though we're in a bullish market. I still think this market is volatile, okay? Meaning it could break off at a moment's notice in any second for many, many reasons. Could be Ukraine, Russia. Could be they continue raising rates, which everyone today is convinced that they're not going to do, but I disagree. I think they will raise rates at least one more time this year. So again, all of this creates a volatile environment to trade, but that is opportunity for you to trade as a trader, okay? So my system and what I do, how I make the picks, like I said, is based on gaps. So again, what is a gap? Here's an example of what we did yesterday. This was Microsoft. Stock closed here, gap down, fell, boom. We shorted it, and we also bought puts in it, okay? It fell. So again, a put is a short. Just doing it as an options trade, we also shorted this as a trade on margin, the day trade room. I like to short, I prefer to short, but like again, sometimes I will go long. That was the long back from the other week. Now, what is a gap? A gap is a break in continuity, a difference, a divergence, a disparity. What is a gap? A stock gap from so the opening price today is different from the closing price of the previous day's trading. A gap is a break in the price action from one day to the next. Simple. So almost everything gaps almost every single day. Something rarely closes at 32.02 and, and then opens the next day at 32.02, okay? But do I trade every gap in the world? Is every single gap that happens predictable? No. No. So I'm looking for the good ones, okay? So I'm looking for the good ones. And that's where the rating system that I developed over the course of three years comes in. If anyone has any questions, I'm just looking under the questions sec section. You can plop them in the room as I'm going on as well. But getting back to what I'm saying, the importance of a system is that is what you will follow each and every day. That tells you that it has a high odds of working. So while I know that my system sometimes will result in some trades losing, like I showed you the stats for the year, we had losses in there, the, the ones in parentheses or losses, the trades lost. We do have trades that lose, but I know if I follow the system, I will have more winners than losers. So that is why a system is important. Otherwise, what I find most people doing is trying to trend trade, buy the dip, or people are trying to go with the news of something. And many, many times what happens is the reflection of the news or whatever the news was is already built into the price. It's too late. Too late to take the trade. Too late to do the, the eBay or whatever it happens to be. And then people don't get the momentum either. So I developed a system called the Golden Gap, which pinpoints the direction that a stock is going to go. The Golden Gap trading system looks at 26 points to examine and rate the stock. That is gapping. This is how you can find which gap is the best one to trade each day. I do focus on shorting. But the reason I point out the longs that I, that I did recently is because the longs that I did recently... Again, NVIDIA is on. That has a huge potential. And Microsoft was a huge trade. So because I focus so much on shorting, I very easily can see then when an excellent bullish move happens because I'm so used to reading weakness. So I've become very good at reading strength because I know how to read weakness so well. And I rarely go long, okay? And when I happen to go long, it's usually a phenomenal trade. So again... We're not going long every day. We're mostly shorting. But I showed you two nice longs. One is on the NVIDIA play. Anyways, why do I like to short? Just because of the fact that I can get in and out quickly. Fast trades are the best in this market or any market. You know, I mean, again, if someone could say, well, you can make $2,000 in five minutes, 
or you can make $2,000 in two days. You'll take the two minutes, okay? And again, the money isn't yours until the fat lady sings and you're out of the trade and you book it. I mean, so again, holding, holding, holding this buy and sell mentality and holding trades really doesn't work in any market, right? You know, not in this environment, didn't work in 2022. And even though the trend of the market is up, even though it's bullish, things slosh around a lot. But shorting, again, shorting, what I love about shorting and selling, particularly selling pressure, like we saw recently in Netflix, Tesla, we shorted those uh, stocks last week. Those were earnings trades. It's like a pressure, like a cooker, pressure cooker, like a fire, like an emergency where people want to exit and sell their positions, okay? And so that's why stocks go very, 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 very quickly. There's, it's rare that you see something called panic buying coming into stock. Actually, that is what happened in Microsoft. So Microsoft went so big, so fast, so quick because it was panic buying. In fact, let me just go back to this one minute and just show you. This is so rare. It almost never happens. Um, but this is what happened here. Again, we captured as quickly as we could, but down in here was around 345-ish. The news came out and it ran up more than 20 points. It was like 21 points. And that happened within a little over an hour. So what happened in Microsoft was something called panic buying. That is very, very rare. Panic selling, okay, is not that rare. It actually happens a lot, like all the time. Okay, and that is what I'm looking for in most of the moves and most of the things that I want to do. So again, it's the whole concept of being able to make money fast that is important and why I veer to the downside first. Now let's talk about last week's trades. So I, Microsoft was one of the trades from last week. Again, I have an options newsletter. The trades gets emailed to you in live time if you want to do them. I'm using a beginner risk here to show people if you had risked $1,000 on average and all the trades I called for last week's expiration, what would you have made? This, this, you know, again, included the Microsoft trade, but even if you take the Microsoft trade out, which, which was one that we did, it still was a great week. So the average ROI for last week was 333%. We're going to go over all of the trades. Okay, this was the expiration date for 721. It was 100% win ratio. There were eight trades, zero break even, zero losers last week. And this is an average risk of $1,000. You would have had to be able to take all the trades. And you would have had to do all the trades. So first we did BABA. So I called this on the 14th. It expired on the 21st. I'm usually doing the weeklies, okay? Like today's Thursday. The video that we did today is out till next Friday. August 4th, I did not do an expiration date of tomorrow. Anyways, the cost is pretty reasonable. 215, five contracts. Again, average risk of debt you take should be close to the same every day. 1,075, sold at four, profit $925. That's a good solid trade. Return on investment was 86%. So let's take a look at it. Again, I called a put in this on the Friday the 14th. So let's take a look at it. This is BABA. Take it out. Stop close here, gap down, dropped. Closed, boom. You would get out and into the trade on the Monday into the gap down. It was up a tiny bit here on this day. And again, do you see where it opened, where it dropped through the strike? And again, a put is a short, okay? So you would have taken the trade on a Friday, exited it on a Monday. Now, if that had gone more on Friday, it would have gotten out of it Friday. It started to go late. Nice trade either way. And actually, again, you could have held it a little bit longer. All right? So that was a good one. Again, this is momentum. In the case of BABA, instead of happening in one day, okay, it happened in the gaps. Amazon. Then we did Amazon. We did Amazon on the 13th. We did the calls. This was cheap too, I thought. $1.70, six contracts, cost $10.20, sold at three. You could have made $780. This was a 76% return on investment. So let's look at that. 135 Amazons that expired last week. So here was the gap. So Amazon, again, this was a call. So this was a long, okay? So Amazon closed here, gapped up, take it over. We did the 135s, shot up like a rocket, boom, you're out. Again, this ran up through the strike. Again, you're playing the momentum. 
And you're always exiting a trade into the momentum, not against the momentum. That's a stinky exit, okay? In other words, you would not get out of Amazon here. It would be bad. You want to get out of a call when it's moving up. Same thing with NVIDIA. If you do the NVIDIAs today. Here we did NVIDIA this week too. We did the 450 NVIDIAs. Again, these are a little pricing. Cost was 1075. One contract cost 1075. This was a really, really good trade too. Sold at 31, profit 2025. Return on investment for this NVIDIA was 188%. Let's take a look at it. The 450s, again, here. So closed here, gapped up, rallied, had the pop, out, done. Again, this gapped up here, ran out, boom, out. And again, this is momentum. The momentum is moving higher. So here we bought the 450s on the day that I called it. Then it moved up, gapped up, moved up, you're out. And again, if you can't watch trades, I do have targets in the newsletter. If you can't watch trades, what you can do is put a sell order, a sell order at trades at 50%, 100%, 75%, and just go look at it or check it. We also did the SPY 450s. Again, it expired on the 21st. This was a call, um, interestingly enough. 220, five cost 1100, sold at 340. Again, this was 55%. Let's take a look at it. This is a SPY 450s. So this was feels like a long time ago here. The 13th was here. Closed here, gapped up, ran up, boom, 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 popped. Actually, I got out of this before the last day. If I had held this, I would have made more money. I did not hold this into the very last day. I like to get out of things before the last day, but this did actually make more on the day of the, um, when it continued up here. The QQQs, the 378s calls, cost was three, four, risk was 1,200, 125%. This was a good move. This was the 378s on the 13th. Again, stock close here, gapped up, rallying, had the pop, boom. Again, this actually kept going. You could have even held this right up until the very last point if you had wanted to. But again, every trade I look at, 100%, 75%, that's funny. Take it, book it, take it, book it, take it, book it. You chunk it out. That's how you put together a day. That's how you put together a week. And you could have actually done all these trades and got out of all of them at the same time, all the calls. We did the Google 130 calls. Profit was 660. Again, this was the same day, the 13th. Let's take a look at it. Here we are, closed here, gapped up, rallied, boom. So again, this was Google, ran up, it's a call, it's a long. And this was the Microsoft that we just talked about, but this is with a lot less of a risk. So 50 cents, if you pay it again, somebody paid 30 cents for the other one. 20 contracts, was $1,000, sold at nine. 17 grand you could have made. And so this was just a phenomenal trade. 1,700%, you would have taken the trade here, you would have gotten a run up and you would have gotten out, okay? And again, you're exiting the trade into momentum. You were still up the next day, but this was a terrible, terrible, terrible exit because of the fact that the you were up so much money so quick. To be able to get Microsoft at 50 cents is insane too, quite frankly. But again, at the time I called it, it was very, 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 very far away from the 360s, which is kind of ironic. And I did have 365 in the letter as the dream target. It, it basically got there. It got to 366 and change. A golden gap is a gap that rates 26 points or more per my 26 point rating system. So a golden gap is my strategy that I teach in my class. So that's what I was talking about earlier, whoever was asking that. It's a gap that is predictable that has a big move and that has a momentum move and that has a move in the same direction of the gap. For example, we went long and did calls in Microsoft because it had a gap up. We shorted it and did a put in Microsoft here because it was a gap down. I'm never going against the gap, especially if it rates per the 26 point system. So it is a gap that is considered like finding gold in the market. Actually, a friend of mine years and years ago when I started developing the system was the one that coined the term. He said, Melissa, this is like finding gold. And then I named my system that. <clears throat> so, you know, it's 
things kind of develop and happen in your life where you don't expect them and all of a sudden you're doing it. When I started trading, I was day trading. I wasn't doing options at all. And I've made an enormous amount of money doing options, adding to my day trades, simply because of the fact that many times I get moves like Microsoft or I get something like an overnight trade that is a big trade that I capture overnight by holding the gap. Again, NVIDIA was a good trade, you know, but, but we've done some this year where some have gone so big in holding them overnight. Many times they happen really from a Friday to a Monday, which is kind of interesting too, holding something over the weekend. Baba was like that. That was a good drop, that, that, that gap down overnight from the Friday to the Monday. Um, so then JPM we did. This was a little one. Again, I think I got out of this a little bit too early. This kept going. We did the 147s. I did get out of this too early. Um, what day did I do this? I did this on Tuesday. Um, I definitely got out of this too early. Here was this. Called the 147 calls, and I got out of it in the push-up, and it kept going. Look. It kept going. So, again, I booked profit in that JPM, but theoretically, it went 10 points through the strike. I did not hold that all the way through there. The 21st is here. Even the last day, if you were still in it, it was, you know, it was 9 points through the strike. So, again, I'm more of a get out and book it kind of girl, but a couple of these you could have held longer. So, someone's asking about the system. The system is called the Golden Gap. The Golden Gap is a 26 point rating system that I use to find what stock to trade each day. How did I make the pick? How did I know that we, the right one today was eBay? The right one was Love. We also looked at EW. You could look at it. I didn't do it, I thought it was thin and spready, but that one worked too. And so, again, I'm looking at hundreds and hundreds of thousands of things every morning. And then I make a small watch list that I rate. I'm not rating thousands of gaps. There's no need to, okay? Very quickly, I can scan through lots and lots of stuff in the morning. And then I make a small list, and those are the ones that I rate. But if I could come up with 126 points in order to never, ever get anything wrong, then I would do it. But I do get very good results using the 26 points. And then I wait until the open to get the setup. So if I don't get the setup, I'm not taking the train. That's another thing too. So my system teaches you how to find stocks that have a high probability of directional bias for the entire day in the gap. Again, I just showed you NVIDIA. That's, that's going right now. Big moves on the day. Obviously, you want a big move so that you can take a trade position for 500 shares, 1,000 shares, even 3,000 shares and make money without having to borrow an excess amount of money to trade. Early confirmation of my bias and the move quickly in the morning out of the gate and precise entries with follow through, which I'm taking on the on the one minute chart. And again, I teach that in the class too. Now, this was a short that we did. This was a while back. I didn't have time to put the eBay in here. This was CCL. This was a short close to your gap down. We did this at the end of June. This was a day trade. So I shorted this on margin. This is pretty cheap. You have to have a margin account to do day trades. I call the trades live in the room. So in the room, I say 45 by 80. You got to know we're doing CCL. So you say, okay. And you know exactly then you're doing this, whether the stop's 35 cents, 45 cents, 55 cents. That's how much times the share quantity that you're taking that you're at risk. So 5,000 shares times the stop, the difference between the bid and, the, I mean, the entry and the stop is the uh, position size times the risk. So if you want to risk 1,000, $1,000, then you would take less than 5,000 shares. Now, we did an ad with this because it was going in our favor, cost averaged it, 14.62, cost averaged it up. 14 was a target, broke 14, got out, great trade. Again, $6,700 and something like that, you could have done an option in that too if you wanted to. But in this case here, I don't know how much cheaper it really would have been. You just would have done it as an as an option if you didn't have a margin account. Then we did Baidu. Baidu has had a lot of moves. Um, the day we did the Baidu was 6.29. We shorted it at 136.55. Then we did the ad. Um, and let's take a look at the 6.29 Baidu. Stock close your gap down. We shorted it. Get the drop. Again, you could have bought a put. This is a day train. Again, the idea of getting in and out quick is that you make the money fast. You do need a margin account to do this. And again, $136 a share. You know, could have taken 1,000 shares. Still made good money. But these are all trades that happen very fast. They're all trades that happen on momentum. They're all trades mostly that are shorts, with the exception of the few that I'm talking to you about, because 
shorting and selling pressure happens, it comes in quickly and fast. If the market decides to break off, if it decides to go and move to the downside, it's going to happen quick, it's going to happen fast, and it's not going to give any warning whatsoever at all. And that could happen. Even though people don't think it could, it could. Okay. And when it does, I'll be all over it. Okay. So we did not go long the market today. The market gapped up today. I did not think it was a good gap up to go long, but we did theoretically gap up today in the market. In fact, you could have shorted the gap up in the market today and made money in the morning. We did not do that. I do not go against the gap. But how I look at everything is based on this checklist. This is the rating system, which I named the golden gap because it is like finding gold in the market because you can get big, big, big moves and big trades. You have to have the right pick. You're screwed without the right pick anyways. You're losing more than you're winning. And then the losers, the winners that you have never cover the losses in full because you don't get big moves. And so the whole point of trading is to trade momentum. We don't trade penny stocks. We don't trade low float stocks. I don't trade anything that's something that you don't even know what it is. If I'm saying that we're doing Amazon, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So everything that I'm looking to trade is something that has volume, has the capability, okay, of having a big move in the first place. And that is all based on how the stock moves and also the price point. But it's based on looking for institutional money in the chart, in the gap. That's the philosophy, the cornerstone of the philosophy behind everything that I do. I'm looking for institutional money. Microsoft is a great example of that. eBay today, the sell off in eBay was a great example of that. NVIDIA today is a long, as a call, is a great example of institutional money. Institutional money is buying NVIDIA. Why do you think it's going up? So institutional money is big money and big positions in stocks in the market. Large professional traders, hedge funds, investment banks all take positions in stocks in the market. Okay. If you are with these big position players, it will be a lot easier for you to profit versus going against them. Learn how to trade with institutional money. They're not the enemy. They're not the enemy. And a lot of people say, oh, you know, do, 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 do. no, you want to trade with this big money. Okay. And if you can do that, you're going to be successful and you're going to make a lot of money. We did Netflix last week. We shorted this last week. We did puts. This close here gap down fell. Actually, again, I could have held this trade longer. It fell again yesterday. I didn't see what this was doing today. But momentum means right now because the faster you can make the money, the better. And again, it's, it's big movement. If you have a big movement, whether you have 100 shares, 1,000 shares, or 10,000 shares, you're going to get the biggest bang for your buck no matter how much size you can take. The size you can, you can, you, the size of your account is the size of your account. Okay, I, you have five grand in an options account, that's it. That's what you got. Okay, you got to work with what you got. People always say, well, I'm going to save up to have more money, I have more money. No, if you were trading and you knew what you were doing, you could take a $5,000 account and turn it into a $10,000 account in a month. If you don't know what you're doing, it doesn't matter if you have 25 grand or 100 grand, you'll lose it all in a month. So it's not about how much you have. It's taking what you have and taking good trains and then moving forward and doing it. You know, not waiting until you have a million dollars, which, you know, most people don't and can't. But if you knew what to do in five years from now, you'd be way ahead of the game if you just start with what you have. This was another example of momentum we shorted Tesla. We did puts in Tesla that fell. That was last week. So momentum traders take positions in stocks in anticipation that the stock will have an explosive move. You saw that in Tesla. Yes, I see. I know I started five minutes late, but I am watching the time so the, the next person can start on time, Rob. I do see that. Um, the stock will have an explosive move after the big money comes in. So the big money buys it or the big money sells it, okay? This enormous move in one direction is what you want to play on, okay? And it's a very, very profitable way to make money. Again, momentum trading in shorts, for me, really is the best because they happen so fast. I'm just going to fast forward here to, to the end um, so the next presenter can begin on time. But my system is called the Golden Gap. It is a 26-point Golden Gap rating system. It will give you an edge if you want to trade it. And again, if you're not doing well, then the point is change what you're doing. Uh, my success rate is around 80%. Sometimes it's a little higher than that, like we had no losers last week, but I would say on the average 80% over the course of the year. So if this is something that you are interested in, if this is something that you want to learn, it is a complete system. I teach the entries, the exits. I teach the rating system in the class. 
It will teach you how to rate, pick, and play bearish professional gaps. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. And since there are so many stocks each day that gap, using a system is significant to your success. And again, this is very, very unique. It seems like a lot of things, but the reality is that it really doesn't take you that long once you learn how to do it. Again, I'm calling the trades in the room. I'm giving the picks in the room. I'm sending out the options newsletters. You can go over your rating with my rating to see if you get the same thing. Did you rate eBay today as well as I did? And that's the whole point of learning it. If you learn what to do, you're going to do a lot better than just taking the trains, the options newsletter. There are no prerequisites. You can sign up for that without having taken the class. The class itself, you must take the class to join the live trading room because the day trades in the room happen very quick and very fast, and people need to understand how to do those because we're trading in the one minute. But the class is called a full two-day course on how to strategically find, play, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Class is online, you can be anywhere in the world, and the class is in August. The next class I do it once a month is August 19th and 20th. Class tuition is $69.99, class is online, you can be anywhere in the world and take it. I'm doing a Shark Week special, I don't know if you love Shark Week, I do. I've been watching Shark Week and Discovery Channel all week. Um, it started last weekend and I'm doing a Shark Week special which is $1,000 off the class, it's normally $69.99. This ends tomorrow. And as a bonus, you get the trading room and the newsletter free through the end of 2023. So that's the rest of this year to get all my calls and you save $1,000 on the class. This ends tomorrow. Any questions? Let me just see if there's any other questions from anybody. Um, the success rate is about 80%. I think I answered that question. Uh, good presentation. Thank you. Anyways, uh, again, just I was rushing through here the last couple of minutes, but again, going back, gaps are a very, very specific way to look at something to see how it's trading. Right now, it's earnings season. Why is earnings season a good time to trade and make money? Because most stocks do gap during their earnings. They could gap up, they could gap down. I don't know how they're going to gap. I'm not taking the trade before the earnings or into the earnings. So I wait until I see the gap, then I see it in the pre-market or the post-market, and then I make a determination how I'm going to play it. For example, Meta was last night. It blew out their earnings. We did not trade it today. We didn't do anything with it today. It wasn't good enough to go long. I will assess that and look at that later today, this afternoon or tomorrow, but we did not go long that stock. So you cannot go long every bullish gap up. You cannot short every gap down. That's why you got to know the 26 points and how to do it. Um, someone's, asked, someone's asked about options. Um, I provide uh, the newsletter comes to your email in real time. So that's the alert, whoever is asking about the options. You're going to get the trade to your email the second that I send it. So if I was doing a trade right now, if I wanted to go long better right now, which I'm not, but it's 1.30, I would send it out right now. You do it when you get it. Thanks so much for having me, everybody. Thanks, Rob, for having me. Any questions? Melissa, th thank you so much. And I didn't mean anything, you know, negative. I just have a timer set. I instinctually no, send I everybody a polite five-ish minute reminder. To the next person. Um, I, 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 so I'm fine with it. I, I, don't worry. Thank no, you. But great, great presentation. I am very curious of what these 26 points are. Because <laughs> your strategy and the returns just look amazing. It's been a good, it's been a good week. I just gave you one. I gave you Nivinia. Boom. Do it. Do it. It's not too late. Uh, I'm out of margin for the day <laughs> and, oh. you know, posting today. So I'm off the markets, but All right, your topic. Well, have a good day. Your topic may 